walking through from another timeline where monsters eat food. Physicists say that though I get poop, the multiverse lives, I'm supposed to just lose. I blast on a tank, I drive us all fuel, gotta try to stay cool, honey, buddy, don't move. Shit glows in the hearts of the brutes. Who hate All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. As many of you know, he was dominant his last time out, won that fight by decision. Now as the challenges get stiffer, we'll see if he can take his game to the next level. Can he get the finish tonight and set himself up for a shot at somebody in that top 10 or perhaps even top five? And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. All right, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Side control now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Three minutes to go. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Anderson. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an armbar. Nicely done. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Good work from the top here by Anderson. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Pop, pop, pop. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercy. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or... quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the... Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attack an armbar. I need you to fight out of there. Let's go, let's go, it's a war. And he's out.
right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Anderson. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Relentless pressure from the top by Anderson. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Anderson. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, last round. You ready? You ready? All right, five minutes to decide this one. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Anderson, ground and pound from half goal. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Anderson. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Anderson. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Anderson. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's attack on board now. There you go. Now you got it. Oh, nice job using his and he's out. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. I mean, how many can he take? Ground and pound strike there now. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Arch, right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. 
you can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. What a... F All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. What a... F All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Declared the winner by split decision, Pantera! All right, well, congratulations to him there, and I think five years from now, they'll forget that <laughs> it was a split and not a unanimous decision, but that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close...